A lot has changed since my first playoff prediction. For example, I took a lot of crap predicting the Sixers would beat the Bucks and go to the finals. Now we'll never know. I still don't believe in some popular teams, and I think an underdog will make some noise. Now that we know the matchups and the injuries, this is the official playoff prediction video. Hey, welcome to AM Hoops, it's Casey. Hit subscribe, notification bells, all that helps out the channel. Today is a huge video. Number one, you guys have requested this playoff prediction video. Number two, we have a giveaway. And number three, today's sponsor is Honey, which is great news if you haven't heard about them. They're a free browser extension that's literally like free money if you shop online. It will search the entire internet for whatever coupon codes apply and it saves money right there. So as an example, here I am shopping on finish line for shoes. I love ASICs, but Honey works on all sorts of shoes. This just happens to be my favorite. When I hit checkout, Honey pops up in the corner there. All I have to do is hit apply coupons, wait a few seconds while Honey searches for coupons it can find, and bam, Honey found a coupon. The price dropped 10 bucks. Literally $10 I would have spent without Honey. Also, in addition to Finish Line, Honey works on over 30,000 stores. So whatever you're shopping for, if it's shoes or if it's basketball gear, whatever, chances are Honey can save you money and it's free. Why wouldn't you install this? And if you install it using joinhoney.com slash amhoops, you'll also be entered to win a $100 Finish Line gift card. So the link is right down there in the description. Joinhoney.com slash amhoops, get Honey for free, save money, and hopefully get that Finish Line gift card. So let's start in the West. The Lakers will sweep the Portland Trail Blazers. I understand that Dame and his crew were amazing in the seeding games, but it was an emotional roller coaster. Yusuf Nurkic literally cried after they beat the Nets. The Lakers want to make a statement after all the noise about Avery Bradley and the injuries. In an earlier video, I predicted maybe the Blazers would win two games, but after seeing the emotional and physical beatdown Portland has been taking, now I predict an easy Lakers win. The next matchup, yes! The series we deserve after all the time off from basketball. We know the story. Chris Paul didn't like James Harden dominating the ball. Harden didn't like that CP3 couldn't stay healthy or his personality. Now Chris Paul gets revenge. The Thunder use a three guard lineup to close games that's lethal, but I've said all along, the Rockets benefited most from the four month layoff. Russell Westbrook being out with a quad injury could derail the Rockets, but I believe in James Harden and Russ with fresh legs. Harden averaged 34 points and nine assists in the seeding games. The Rockets are a more talented team and they will win in six games. The next series is the Denver Nuggets against the Utah Jazz. The Nuggets had some of the best storylines in the bubble with Bull Bull and then Michael Porter Jr. balling out. Denver has a huge advantage in Nikola Jokic over Rudy Gobert. I said in a different video that the Nuggets would lose to a lot of teams in the first round, but they would want to face Utah. The Jazz are hurting after Boyan Bogdanovich went out, and Mike Conley is gonna miss at least two games after leaving the bubble for the birth of his child, but I think the Jazz actually upset and win this series. Donovan Mitchell looked amazing against the Nuggets in the seeding games. He has playoff experience and he's surrounded by vets. Look, I know Mike Connolly is out, but there's a chance he'll only be gone for two games and this is about Spida Mitchell. They hunt threes and the Nuggets give up threes. Their defense has been awful this year, especially in the bubble. The Nuggets have injuries to Gary Harris and Will Barton. They'll lean on a rookie to step up. No thanks, I believe in Donovan Mitchell and I believe in the Jazz in seven. After mediocre seeding games, the Clippers are gonna face the Mavs after all. I think LA will beat Dallas in five. Kawhi Leonard and Paul George will make KP and Luka look as inexperienced as they are. I just hope no one talks down on Luka. I mean, if they lose in five like I'm predicting, people will ask, can you win a championship with Luka Doncic? That is insane. He's in his second year, he's just learning. And even though he's not gonna put up anything like his usual numbers, he's facing an elite team. I could see the Mavs maybe winning two games because the Clippers are using this series to ramp back up, especially Montrez Harrell, but I predict the Clippers in five. 
Now the conference semifinals. First up is the Lakers against the Rockets. If Houston can force the Lakers to play small, they have a chance to upset. The Lakers can put LeBron on Harden or Westbrook, but with no Avery Bradley, the Rockets' other MVP can go off. However, taking the Lakers centers out is not what this series comes down to. It is LeBron James and Anthony Davis. P.J. Tucker or Robert Covington will be on AD all game long, but the Rockets have no answer for LeBron James. Houston needs to contain LeBron and AD and hope their role players go cold four times in seven games. That will not happen, Lakers in six. On the other side in the West, the easy road continues for the Clippers, they get the Jazz. Utah is gonna be worn out after a long series against the Nuggets. The Clippers are talented and deep, the Jazz are not. The interesting matchup will be Rudy Gobert against the Clippers' weakness, which is their size. Uh, but if you're depending on Gobert's offense, that's a bad thing. Clippers win in five games. That means, finally, after the longest NBA season ever, we get Lakers, Clippers, and the Western Conference Finals. And here's the thing. This is gonna come down to the superstars, and I couldn't pick two better players to guard LeBron and AD than Kawhi Leonard and Paul George. The key to this series might have to be Kyle friggin' Kuzma. In fact, LeBron literally said the Lakers, quote, can't win a championship if Kyle Kuzma doesn't play well. I know he looked good in the seeding games, but he ain't ready for this. I think beyond LeBron and AD, the Lakers are average. Their depth will get crushed by the Clippers. I think Kawhi's team makes easy work of the Lakers. It's Clippers in five. All right, let's go to the Eastern Conference. Start with round one, and it's a sweep. The Bucks will take down the beat up Magic, who don't have Jonathan Isaac. This is the number one defense with Giannis against a mediocre offense whose best player is Nikola Vucevic. Easy work for Milwaukee. Next is the Pacers and the Heat, which would be a completely different series if not for injuries. Victor Oladipo has been a shell of himself in the bubble. Demonis Sabonis is injured. The Heat are leaning on three young guys, and I normally don't bet on those in the playoffs, but the Heat will win in five games. Speaking of injuries, the Sixers will never know how good they could have been. Joel Embiid will need to play his best for a seven game series to advance, and that just has never happened. Ben Simmons would have been clutch defending one of Boston's elite wings. Now, Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum can torch them. Embiid will go off and bully Daniel Tice and Enos Cantor, Robert Williams, whoever they put on him. But this is a six game series and the Celtics win. Finally in the first round, look, I got the most crap in that last video for predicting the Nets would beat Toronto. That was when Kyrie and Kevin Durant were still a maybe. Now there's no maybe. The Nets have no chance to even compete. They'll be lucky to win one game. So I predict the Raps with amazing defense and a balanced offense will win in five. In round two, the Bucks and Heat are gonna be a really fun matchup because of Bam Adebayo's ability to guard Giannis. Bam is one of the only people in the league who can guard Giannis one-on-one. -on -one. Add the fact that Miami is virtually tied for the best three-point shooting team and the Bucks allow the most threes in NBA history, and this is upset alert. The issue though is Miami shooting well enough four times in seven games to beat the Bucks. Jimmy Butler, I believe in him, he'll be great. But in terms of their outside shooting, Miami is gonna lean on two rookies and a second year player. That will not sustain, they will go cold, and the Bucks will win in six games. The Celtics and Raptors will be the best series up to this point. The Celtics have more talent. The Raptors have more championship experience. Both have great coaching. Ultimately though, the Celtics will take down Toronto in seven. The Raptors play hard and they play great defense in the regular season. Everyone does that in the playoffs. Boston will play hard and play good defense, but they have more talent. Four of the six best players on the court are Celtics. Let's rank them. Jason Tatum, Pascal Siakam, Kimba Walker, Jalen Brown, Kyle Lowry, and Gordon Hayward. The C's are just more talented. I know Raptors fans hate me for not believing in their team, but they'll see the truth in the second round this season. So my Eastern Conference Finals is the Bucks and the Celtics. 
Giannis is going to look like the best player in the league in this series. No Celtic can slow him down. Chris Middleton torches Boston too. I do think the Celtics are more talented all around, but the Bucks have the best player on the court and they have depth. To beat the Bucks, the Celtics would need to shoot lights out the entire series and they can't afford a single injury or shooting slump. That is way too small a margin for the Celtics, so I picked the Bucks in six. So that means the NBA Finals will be the LA Clippers against the Milwaukee Bucks. Kawhi against Giannis again. Now I don't know if the Clippers have the same defense as last year's Raptors, we haven't seen that yet, but I do think that Kawhi, Paul George, and Patrick Beverly can force Giannis to pass instead of score. That means he'll have to make the right decisions and Chris Middleton, Brooke Lopez, and Eric Bledsoe are gonna have to step up. Now we know the Clippers are gonna bring the offense every night and the depth and the defense. So I think these will be close games and give me Kawhi and Paul George over Giannis and Chris Middleton in a close clutch situation. The Clippers win the title in six and Giannis Antetokounmpo leaves Milwaukee in free agency. Yes, so the playoffs are here. That is the official playoff prediction video. There will be a lot of right and wrong and I will make that video at the end of the playoffs. I cannot wait for that video. I also can't wait for the first ever Clippers banner. If that happens, 2020 really will be the weirdest year in NBA history. Support AM Hoops and click subscribe. Don't miss a daily NBA video.